Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. This is a quick update video regarding the Emacs Tenohawk, a very successful micro quadcopter which I really like and reviewed a couple of months ago. After my review, a couple of you suggested that I should try it without the propeller guards and I took my sweet time and by the time I've decided to do it, Mr. Shutterbug the Great has already done it, so I decided in this video to follow his path, try his modified version and give you my feedback after testing it out. First of all, as for the modification itself, it doesn't require any soldering work, however you will need to make the holes on the bottom of the frame larger in order to fit M2 screws and you should be careful not to inhale the carbon fiber dust and break the bottom plate. The first thing that you need to do is to unscrew the motor screws and then in turn you'll be able to remove the plastic molded canopy. Then using the same screws you can put back the motors and in case you would like to add extra protection you can use these 3D printed motor protectors that were provided by Mr. Shutterbug and are going to add about 1 gram to the total weight. Since the FPV camera is mounted to the frame using the canopy that I just removed, you'll also need to obtain this type of part that is going to secure the camera. A friend of mine 3D printed this part which you can find linked down below and the good thing about it is that it protects the camera lens, it is pretty robust and it secures the VTX antenna. However, on the other hand, you will need to modify it in order for the Runcam Nano 3 camera to fit in and it is a little bit on the heavy side. The weight of the modified Nanohawk without a battery is 21.1 grams, so it is actually a little bit heavier than before. However, the biggest advantage is that now we can use 40mm propellers as opposed to the stock 31mm 4 blade propellers, which is going to make this micro quadcopter more powerful, more agile and more efficient, so the flight time is going to be extended to around 3 minutes. The biggest downside however in my experience is that besides that the motors and the propellers are a little bit more exposed and anyway I think that this canopy didn't provide a lot of protection, the propellers just took a hike a lot of times and I had to use a little bit of super glue in order to secure them and I also think that these HQ prop 40mm props are not very durable so I actually came down to my last set of props so in case you're going to do this modification, I recommend to get at least 5 or maybe 6 sets. So overall, in my opinion, in case you already have the Emacs Nanohawk and you would like to have some extra fun, maybe after you got a little bit of practice, I recommend to try out this mode. Just remember to be careful when drilling the M2 screws and also make sure to properly mount the camera as otherwise you are going to get tons of jello in your flat footage. Anyway, that's going to be it for this quick video, now I'm going to wrap it up with some flight footage and of course, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments section down below. I would like to thank Mr. Shutterbug for sharing his STL files and I will see you soon on my next videos. Goodbye. Yeah.